For this project, you're going to want some ribbon. I just got some normal ribbon here. The next thing you will need are some snap hair clips. They just clip together like this. You squeeze them to open them. So I'm going to slide the clips onto my pants or shorts that I'm going to be wearing with my suspenders. I'm going to put two in the front and two in the back. I want to put the flat side of the clips facing outward. And this is going to help me line up where they're going to be. So the next thing I want to do is I want to take my ribbon and I'm going to measure how long I need it. So I'm just holding it behind me. I'm starting with the back left and I'm leaving a little bit of overhang and I'm just going to mark that spot there. And then I'm going to come over my right shoulder so I can get that crisscross, bring it to the front and I'm going to hold it down in front of the front clip and I'm going to measure and mark a spot a little bit beyond the clip, but I wanna mark where the end of it is and make sure you stand up straight so that way your suspenders are long enough. But I'm gonna mark a little spot where the end of the clip needs to line up. Now it's time to cut our ribbon. So here's the one end where I've marked it and the left a little bit beyond, and then here's the other end where I marked it. So I'm gonna come a little bit beyond my mark and I'm going to fold my ribbon in half and then I'm going to line up the other ends and then I'll cut my ribbon with a pair of scissors. So now I've got a length that is double how much I will need and I'm going to find the center of this and cut it in half. Now I'm going on the assumption that I will need the same length for both sides of my suspenders. You may want to measure both sides if you think one side will be way different than the other, but for me, just measuring it and then doubling it is good enough. So now I've cut it into two separate pieces. Now it's time to grab out the glue gun. So I've got my clip and the glue gun and my ribbon. So I'm gonna start by putting hot glue on the flat part of my clip. And just cover it so you have enough to create a good seal with the ribbon. And I'm going to line the edge up with the mark that I made. And then just firmly press down. Just be careful because the glue is hot so it will squeeze out from the sides a little bit. But it helps if you pick it up and really squeeze it in there. Make sure you open your clip so that way the top part of the clip that opens doesn't also get stuck to the side. Now we want to hold it open and we're going to add some glue on the ribbon and then we're going to fold the extra piece of ribbon over just so that way we have a nice seal and a nice edge for our suspenders so you won't see the clip at all. And just press it down until the glue hardens, get rid of your glue strings, and then it's time to do the other end. So we're going to do pretty much the exact same process where we're going to get our clip and we're going to put hot glue on the flat side of our clip. Then stick the hot glue side to our ribbon and we're using the marks that we made when we were measuring our ribbon to know how far to go. Get it really secure there together. Don't forget to open the top part so that way the top part doesn't stay down. Clean the glue out if you get any built up on the top part. But then we're going to once more squeeze our clip to hold it open and then add some hot glue to the ribbon and we'll fold it in half and it will cover up the clip, make a nice seal. And that's all you do to make one of the suspender straps. I'm going to do the same to my other strap and then they'll be ready to go. Alright, time to test these out. So I'm just going to do them one at a time. I'm going to create the crisscross in the back. I'm going to clip the back on one side and then the front on the other side. So on this one, I'm doing the back to the left and then in the front, I'm clipping it to my right. So for the other strap to finish creating the crisscross, I'll clip it to the right of me in the back and then come over my left shoulder and I will clip it to the left in front. And there you go, that's all it takes to make these fun costume suspenders. I'm using these for a VBS kit. These would also be great if you have nerd day at your school or even just for Halloween. Happy crafting!